just ordered your book and it's coming 24th through 27th. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. I think that's about when my book is coming too. You guys are going to be like done reading the book and shit by the time I get mine. I've obviously I've read my shit like a hundred times over, but yeah, man, I appreciate you. Also, do you have any advice for a 15 year old? Let me tell you guys something, bro. This goes for anybody in high school, anybody just, you know, doing whatever you're doing, bro. Stop caring so much about what people think about you, man. Stop, stop thinking about that. Stop letting that occupy so much of your thought space. And I know some of you, you're like, oh, I don't care what people think about me. You probably do. Deep down inside, you probably do. And it's okay to an extent. I think it's kind of pre-wired into us to care what people think just as a survival mechanism. But at the same time, don't let it dictate your life, bro. Don't let it dictate your life, man, especially as a teenager. I feel like that's when your insecurity is the highest because you're around the same people every single day. But like, bro, people really aren't thinking about you like that. People really aren't thinking about you because they have their own insecurities. So, you know, think like, for example, you don't go home at the end of the school day thinking about some person's, I don't know, some person, somebody's haircut or their shoes or something like that. That just looked weird. Like you, you don't think about that. You're thinking about your own shit. You're thinking about what you have going on. You're thinking about your insecurities. In other words, bro, people aren't thinking about your insecurities. They're thinking about their own insecurities. And the people that are thinking about your insecurities, usually it's a defense mechanism because they're afraid to face their own insecurities. So they deflect. They learn to deflect their insecurities onto other people, deflect and project. And, you know, misery loves company, man. If, if any, here's the thing, anybody who is at peace with themselves, who really loves themselves, they're not going to try to put other people down because they have nothing to gain from that. They have absolutely nothing to gain from that. So focus on yourself, man. Stop thinking about, oh, you know, are they going to, are they going to like this outfit? Just do you, man. Do you. Jordan, what should I be doing right now as a 15 year old in high school? Man, just living in the moment, living in the moment. I know it sounds cliche, bro. I know people are telling you, people probably have already told you this and people told me this stuff too, bro. I didn't listen, but really just spend time with your friends and enjoy that time with your friends, bro. Because when you get older and everybody starts getting jobs and things like that, it's going to be very difficult to just bring everyone together. Like me and all of my friends, bro, we, we, <laughs> do. I don't think me and all of my friends have all hung out together since like 2019. It's 2022, man. And like, what I realized is like, bro, that I don't think that's ever going to happen again, especially now. Like we're all moving to different areas and everything. It's like, that's life. But it's like right now, bro, you're young. You're in a position where, you know, you, you can do that. You can go out with all of your friends and just live in the moment, man. You could just be present with it. Like, have fun, like, enjoy that shit, bro. Don't take that for granted. Don't take that for granted. <laughs>